Aaron, what was your first impression of Weaver? You know, struggled a little bit in that first inning. Uh, a lot of pitches, um, you know, goes 0-2, I think, to Bay and then loses them, right? Um, so he had to throw a lot of pitches in that first inning to kind of tax him. But I thought after that he navigated well. You know, I thought he, he used everything, his changeup, his cutter, the four-seamer. Um, you know, had to make some pitches there to limit some damage. Uh, but he was able to do that and, and gave us what we needed to, to get the ball there to the middle innings. Seems like Brito has, has had success out of the bullpen. Why do you think he's been thriving in that role? He's, he's done a really good job. He, he really has. Um, I don't know. You know, he's, he's continuing to, you know, He's, he's a young man, right? And he's still developing, And um, but he has done a really good job. And I thought today he was super efficient, uh, u used his three pitches, used his curveball even a little bit in there, and um, just really filled up the zone and, and had a you know, pretty easy three innings there. Do you see him long term as a starter or as a guy that's a multi inning guy like a Michael King out of the pen? Yeah, I think he's um, I think he's still capable of being a starter. And, and I think that's how we view him. Um, but, you know, you, you could envision a lot of roles. You never know the career path it goes. But he's done a – I feel like he's he's a, he's a better pitcher today than, you know, than he was at the start of the season, and that's that's good. What's your biggest takeaway during this stretch where you guys have won 14 out of 19, I believe, with a bunch of young kids playing roles every day? Yeah, um, just kind of pleased with how everyone's – again, the, the focus has been there, um, preparation – you know, we're you know even though, you know we're not in a great spot. We're, we feel like we're playing for a lot. We want to we want to win. We want to play well. Um, there's young guys with a lot to prove and are getting real opportunities. Um, but I feel like I, I, you know, it, it, and is usually the case. You know, when you when you go through a stretch of games where you have that kind of success, um, you're, usually you're getting some contributions from everyone and whether that's been some of our star veteran players all the way down through through our young guys, everyone's kind of had a hand in it, and that's been nice. You talk about guys getting opportunities. Austin Wells has been catching quite a bit today, got the scoring started with an RBI double. Overall, what have you thought of, how would you assess his, his time, his short time in the big leagues? Yeah, I think he's done a good job really connecting with the room, connecting with the pitching staff, having a presence with them. I think he's done a really good job behind the plate. You know, hasn't hit a ton yet, but I feel like he's going to hit. And, uh, you know, he's he's got a presence in the box to him. Um, you know, just hasn't gotten the results yet, you know, as a hitter. But I, I do feel like over long haul he's going to hit. And uh, I've been I've been pleased with how he's come in and um, really just in short order, I feel like gotten really connected with the pitching staff and um, – he likes the game. He likes the preparation. He likes the behind-the-scenes work that prepares you to go out there and have a game plan and really work well with pitchers, and he's done a good job with that. There's a report out of Scranton that Frankie Montas may start for Scranton tomorrow. <coughs> Is that true? What's, I, I know he's had a tough year with some setbacks here and there. What's the latest on Frankie? Yeah, he's pitching tomorrow. He's doing well. Um, he's, I think he's just throwing an inning. Uh, but, yeah, he is starting tomorrow. And I guess it's... I think you said a while ago it's probably too late for him to make it back up here and get any innings here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we're a couple weeks, so we'll see. I think tomorrow's a big step, you know, in, in getting him back on the mound. And, um, you know, I know he's been working really hard down there. It wasn't a perfect night at the plate for him, but how nice was it just to see Stanton get a hold of that one in the third? Yeah, really good. Um, you know, it looked like a breaking ball down the zone that, you know, you know, he smoked, so... Good at bat his first time to work a walk and, and set us up there almost to really break open the game um, and then to really, you know, really stick one, after, especially after they answered with a couple runs to get right back in it, you know, to to get that two-run lead back uh, was nice in that spot. You know, Oswaldo also hit one out. I was hit one last week, first time he had a home run since I believe the day that Judge hurt, got hurt in L.A. Nice to see him go deep too. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm so excited where he is right now offensively. Really, you know, first time all year where it's been now, you know, a week, 10 days of really, and, and even tonight, like, yeah, the homer, but two other balls absolutely scorched. Line drive to center, line drive to right. He's 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 putting the, putting the fastball in play again with authority. He's getting to that pitch. He's not fouling it off, and I just feel like his at-bats right now are what, 
a, a peek into why you know we do really like him, especially with all this defensive versatility. He's playing really well right now. This is an important time for him, and I'm excited to see him getting some traction going offensively.